Ibu Dua dua Sedak Sedak ni Dua Nanyet is possibly the last priest of the old religion. He spends most of his time alone in the forest, but returns to become both the community's doctor and philosopher. He knows all the medicinal plants of the forest, and he can direct a healing energy through his hands. He said we all have a dream wanderer, though most of us live our lives amongst the roots of the world. Our dream wanderer can learn to move through the upper branches of the tree of all life, the body of Apen. Sometimes, he said, the tree speaks through him, and tonight, if we wished, we could listen. Almost nothing is known or written about the Punan religion, and on the verge of its disappearance from the world, we were in the extraordinary position of being able to capture a moment of it. It is a special language which comes from the inside while in trance. They call it the language of before being born and of after dying. There we were, stumbling over our cables, struggling with failing batteries, blinding them with our lights. And it was only afterwards that Nanyet told us the entire thing had been just for our benefit, to awaken our dream wanderers. <laughs> he predicted that within a few days, one or other of us would have a special dream. I didn't have a dream that I remember. But Lorne certainly did, and he wouldn't shut up about it. It's true. I dreamt I was in a massive tree that stretched from coast to coast of Borneo. One tree. In it, all around me were creatures I should have been afraid of. And others that should have been afraid of me. but I saw myself in each of them. And all of them were parts of me. For me, the whole thing had been a dream, finding them, becoming part of them, and now leaving them again in their secret place. The way out would be long and treacherous, but I felt that everything would be all right now, as if we were covered in some way. Nanyet had told us that from now on, wherever we might get to amongst the tribes of man, we bore the symbol of Aping as a reminder of the one tree. A short walk from our home in Bali, there's a monkey temple. It's in a forest where there's a sacred banyan tree, which the Balinese say links heaven and earth, and where sometimes the angels can be seen coming down to bathe in its pools.
After Borneo, their dance had a new meaning for me, and so did the trees.